Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night. Welcome back to Abstract Medicine, welcome back, welcome back. We have another different setting today. We have a new setting, new setting, new moods and uh, we have some little elephants of abundance here for you and we've got some candles so we're setting the mood in a really nice and calm way. Thank you so much for your patience in this delivery of this video. Um, we're going to do a pick a card and the pick a card is going to be all about what to expect for this weekend or just whenever you're tuning into this video, this message. So this is going to be for pile one. This is going to be pile two. This is going to be pile three. Okay, so pile one, pile two, pile three. Three. Pile one is deservingness. Deservingness. Pile one, deservingness. It's got a lilac colour, lilac and blue. You might be seeing that a lot. So deservingness might be coming up for you, pile one. Pile two is savings. Savings, pile two, savings. With this teal green savings okay a little teal green you might have a little curly hair as well okay pile three is another lilac more purple attracting not chasing pile three attracting not chasing okay and you've got um this flower here this purple flower so hopefully that will help you to decide which pile. This is pile one, pile two, pile three. If you want to listen to all of the piles, that's totally fine. Um, and I'll catch you in your reading for pile one. We're going to start pile one. Okay. So. Pile one. Uh, where should we put this one? Pile one. Actually, let's be you there. <laughs> okay, so pile one. Um, what is happening for pile one, please? All right. Pile one. We're going to be using these cards that Magali uh, gave me, or I kind of nicked from her. Um, Quick and easy tarot. I just really resonated with them. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, sis, can I have this, this deck? And she was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Anyway, so pole one, deservingness, deservingness, what to expect for this weekend, pole one, okay, one more for pole one please, thank you. Uh. Deservingness, pole one. What is pole one expecting for the weekend? Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. Three of Pentacles, uh, Knight of Cups, you can probably hear the dog um, drinking water by the way in the background, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so bottom of the deck we have the Hermit. So you could be a Virgo. This is Virgo season. It's my sister's birthday today, um, Brittany's birthday. So wish Brittany a very happy birthday. You could also be um, single at this time, or you could be withdrawing from people and trying to find out the answers, so like spiritual answers within needing peace and quiet, essentially, um, and taking time to be away from the world right now. This could also be that you're on vacation, on holiday, and you're following the heart not the crowd. So you're following your own heart and your intuition, I would say. Let's just put that there. Okay, so 
Page of Pentacles um, signifies a male under 30 um, who is highly spirited, engaging and optimistic. Um, I'm just reading what this says. I also obviously read the tarot too, of course, as you know, but I'm also reading what it says just here. Um, so it looks like there is possibly if I'm, I'm sort of picking up on a female or a feminine energy. So you could be a femme, you resonate with the word woman, you resonate, resonate with womanhood, you resonate with being a woman sexually or through identity, through physical identity, through sexual identity, um, as well as just the energy of very feminine energy here. So what I'm picking up on is that, so I'm seeing a woman, a female, who is significantly or signifies a very popular and outgoing, attractive and magnetic female this weekend. And this energetic and attractive, possibly even protective and supporting of others, female, is attracting someone who could be younger than them. That's what I'm seeing, because we have the Queen of Wands here in the page of Pentacles. There's also other admirers, possibly. There's also around this Queen of Wands, this very attractive female. Sagittarius, Leo and Aries could be very significant in your chart too, your zodiac chart, um, is attracting a lot of admirers. Because we have the Knight of Wands here. The Knight of Wands to me is someone who is an admirer, someone who's kind of a knight in shining armour, someone who's quite hot-headed as well. Very fiery, they themselves could be a fire sign too. This person could be a male under 40. Um, so this person could be a male under 40, very confident and very sexy and seductive. Okay, um, This person is attracted to women and attractive to women as well. So you could also be bisexual as well. You could um, like women and men or non-binary. Uh, you could also be um, pansexual. It doesn't really matter. It's more about the energy of that person. You know, that you're attracted to their thoughts. But in this occasion, I feel like this weekend, you yourselves, um, particularly feminines, are very attractive this weekend. And you could be attracting a lot of admirers. Um, regardless of sexual persuasion. Th this person here in particular is in a rush and is in a rush with a lot of nervous energy. Um, this also could be yourself too. You could be this weekend, um, first of all, learning how to, to understand that you are deserving of all of this attraction and allow yourself to be admired, essentially. And maybe you haven't been admired for a long time because you've been isolating yourself from the world with this Virgo energy here. Underneath that, we have the Queen of Pentacles. It almost looks like you've also been working on your money, you're working on your projects, and you've been being your you, you have been down to earth, you've been very practical, very noble, you know, very generous. Um, but now it's time to shine. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, there's also something here that you could be creating um, a project. This could be the beginning of a project this weekend that you might be starting or wanting to start. The Three of Pentacles here is um, uh, talks about teamwork for me as a reader. So we have the Three of Pentacles, a good time for new, a new team project. Uh, group business ventures, business partnerships is advisable. Teamwork is essential to achieving your goals. So what I'm seeing here is also a bit of networking too, okay? We're going to pull some more oracle cards as well to get some clarification. We're going, to get, we're going to use the romance angels as well as the abundance angels, as well as the um, love and wisdom of Jesus um, cards too. So um, this weekend, um, it is essential for you to be in a team, teamwork or team environment or networking um, energy in order to achieve your goals. So with this page of pentacles and the knight of wands, I'm seeing that there's there's something that you're starting that you're wanting to bear fruit in because you already have that queen of pentacles energy. You already have that reliability that so many people find very attractive, especially if they want to work with you because they know that you work very hard, you work very well. You work, you work um, methodically, you are very intelligent and grounded and grounding and you also have humility. If something that if this is something that you've been learning how to be more humble and less egoistic, um, this is what you've been working on in the shadows, okay? 
Um, and so I see that there is something that you're wanting to start something new. This could also be a younger, fe younger female or a younger male or a younger person who is wanting to offer you something. But they, may, they themselves may feel unworthy of you because they themselves are healing, deserving this energy. Because they see you as someone who's quite old, older and mature as well and wiser than them. This could also be they themselves, this younger person, who could be... Um, intimidated by your energy and your presence um this energy here could also be young young in spirit this is a 40 year old or under 40 year old person or someone who has a kind of you know laissez-faire attitude you know um, um but this person wants to rush in and uh, you know have some fun you know um but yes i also see that you are you are in touch with yourself and you are aware of what you deserve. And I feel like you're being quite picky. And I feel like that energy of being picky is the actual, the very thing that is making you very attractive at this time. The Knight of Cups here signifies a male under 40. So you have two knights and a page, okay? So we have a Knight of Cups signifies a male under 40, romantic, calm nature, makes decisions with his heart, um, thinks carefully before acting and speaking, sensitive to others, well-educated, idealistic, persuasive, possible invitation or proposition, or sorry, proposition in love. Um, he is considerate and generous, but this could also be you. So you yourselves are incorporating these energies of you're you're excited about starting a new project, you're excited about starting possibly even the idea of thinking about love and relationships or even getting out of your comfort zone to be in a sexual partnership or even just to get yourself out there and have some fun sexually as well because maybe you've been single for quite some time and you've just been working on your money and maybe you've been abstaining from sex as well. I just have to say that because that's also significant. We also have the magician underneath here which is telling me that um, uh, we have the Ten of Swords underneath that too. So you've you've also been betrayed in love too. The magician is is um, for me in this energy, in this context, is someone who's been working on how to manifest what it is they what they want to manifest, but also using that sexual energy for a creative project in particular. Um, then we have the Ace of Swords, an excellent time for work and intellectual projects. A breakthrough is possible your life's mission or career um, direction will become clear, okay? The ability to persevere will be crucial during this period. That's what it says here on the card. Think of problems as opportunities for change, okay? So um, let's have a look at the Angel of Abundance cards, okay? Pile one, unlimited ideas. So you're, you're feeling very fruitful, pile one, at this time. You're learning, you're learning about what it is that you deserve and that it should come to you. And people are also picking up on that energy too. You have unlimited ideas, unlimited suitors, unlimited possibilities as well. Um, let's have a read of this, deservingness, okay? You are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. So you have two, two phrases here, divine life purpose. You're really in touch with your divine life purpose this weekend and moving forward. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Okay, And your unlimited ideas, your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do uh, is to take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Exactly. So this is the action that you're getting with this Knight of Wands. Possibly could be a person that's going to put the fire in the belly within you in order to, you know, create um, that project. I'm also seeing possible fertility as well this weekend too. So I also feel like you are in line and alignment for the perfect time to conceive at this time. And this is going to be divinely orchestrated. Um, the fact that you, I see lots of suitors around you, Paul, one, um, is something that you're going to have to look into with regard to who that possible father or mother partner is going to be for your children or child. Okay. Um, and then... And then at the bottom of the deck, I've just called to read this, release 
resentments about money. Okay, so this card says release resentments about muddy money. Uh, yes, but I'm hearing Muddy Waters as well. So he was a singer and blues singer. So Muddy Walk, Muddy Waters could be playing in your head, or you're you're listening to it, or it's very significant to you, Muddy Waters. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentment about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can do better. The, you can better the work you can use to better the world and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities so that's what you've been doing you've been releasing resentment about money as well and I would say also releasing resentment about maybe past relationships past traumas possibly too where should I put this let's put that there um let's have a look at the romance angel cards so romance angels uh can we get a message for pile one please thank you M romance angels message for pile one Romance Angels, messages for part one, please. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have flirt and engagement. So exactly. So, you know, these two cards are kind of saying what I've been picking up on. So people that are flirting and wanting to flirt with you at this time, part one. We also have engagement. This could also be a, um, you know, a, a meeting, a connection, a um, you know, engaging with people, you know, teamwork, meeting people and flirting, using your Sagittarius, Leo um, and Aries um, energy of flirtation. You know, this this is the energy of um, fame as well. So you might have Leo in your 10th house. Um, have a look at your 10th house. I was reading up on this yesterday, actually, about Zodiac. Um, where Libra is, if Libra is in your 10th house, if um, Sagittarius or Leo is in your 10th house or Scorpio is in your 10th house um, or Aquarius is in your 10th house, um, that is going to bring about a lot of attraction, okay? So you're going to be using this natural element and ability within you to attract people, not in a manipulative way, but people are just going to be drawn to you like the sun, okay? And so extend your lightheartedness energy um, to others your life is ascending your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment so we have an engagement I actually feel like you have so many um, suitors you don't really know who to choose which is quite funny let's just see you could also be meeting someone very significant at a meeting and you or a, uh, an event or a networking event and we have love yourself first and this is what you've been doing you've been loving yourself first part one and this is a reminder to continue doing that your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And this is what people see about you when you have wedding. So I actually feel like you could be meeting someone very significant. It's like spirit doesn't want to say you're going to, you're going to be meeting the one this weekend. But there's something of that energy around you at this time. Um, whether you meet this person this weekend who is potentially the one, the, the main person in your life that you're going to be possibly marrying, if that's what you're into, you're wanting, then there's a high probability of that this weekend. But the important thing is to just be yourself, as always. Always be yourself around people. Um, don't be rude, obviously. Don't be um, arrogant or aggressive. Just be yourself. Be in your light energy of the fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries which is very confident, very flirtatious, very um, encouraging, you know, the energy of being in your heart and your soul. And that is going to be attracting, you know, the right people to you, if anything. If it's regarding work, it's going to be very important for you. Let's have a look at your life purpose um, situation. We're going to use the Archangel Gabriel cards for that. So what's happening for this weekend for Pile 1? Pile one. 
you could have been working on yourself and you could have been working by yourself. So you may not work with other people. Um, so you may work independently and spirit is saying that um, you're going to be attracting people who are going to want to work with you and team up with you. So Archangel Gabriel's cards say, allow yourself to receive. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answers and answered prayers that God is sending to you. OK, so Paul one, that's you. So you're allowing yourself to receive because you are deserving. OK, and you are on your life purpose at this time. You have unlimited possibilities. You have the Midas touch right now or the Midas touch. You're able to touch anything and turn it into gold. People that you meet are going to see that magical power within you as well. And they're going to want to work with you. They want, they're going to want to flirt with you. They're going to want to engage with you. They respect you as well. So yes, you have exactly. Share your art with the world. So you could be an artist. You could be a creative. And this card is saying, share your art with the world. Okay. Um, it is time to allow others to enjoy your creative work. And that is bringing a lot of admirers in. You could be so posting online, posting a lot of social, like, a lot of stuff online. Okay, and then we have law of attraction. You know, I also do see that you are being very attractive at this time, part one. I'm hoping that you can see all of the cards. Let me just see if I can adjust it somehow. But oh, I think that's kind of as far as it can go. Um, but we have the law of attraction. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations. And you will attract more positivity into your life. Well, that's exactly it, isn't it? Um, let's let's see what else we can get. Let's just get one more card. Let's get a card from Jesus. And then we have sensitivity. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity at this time. So I would say that this weekend... You're feeling quite sensitive. You're also going to be sharing your art with the world. You yourself could be a muse for other people. You yourself could be very artistic and creative, or you look very unique and unusual. As I said, Aquarius in your 10th house could be significant. You might um, share or make things or think in a, in a very unique way, unusual way. Okay, so let's see the from the um, Loving Words from Jesus cards. Let's have a look at this, okay? So, Loving Words from Jesus, part one. Yes. And we have, peace be unto you as my Father hath sent me. Okay. So it's a beautiful card, part one. So peace be unto you as my father hath sent me. And for me, that says that, you know, you, you, know, you no longer need to suffer. Um, this man that was ascended into, into the Christ consciousness, you might also be going through a Christ consciousness awakening too. Um, Jesus, Yeshua, has... Um, had dealt with all of the sins and pains and sacrificed his life so that you don't have to deal with um, your own pains. You can just give it up to God as well. So peace be unto you. Peace, 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 peace. It's a beautiful message. We also have John twenty twenty one here. It might be um, significant for you to read the New Testament and read John twenty twenty one. 2021 could also be significant as a number that you might be seeing a lot lately as well. 2021. Um, 20, the year 2020 was also significant for you. And 2021, as in last year, was also very significant to you. But the cycles move on, the cycles change. And now it's time for you to release those resentments about people and pains because now you are elevated. Now you are in an elevated state. You are being recognised by your peers. There is peace around you. The people that you are attracting are peaceful. They are they are deserving as well. They they themselves have also ascended. You know, um, there's something to be said about the people that are around you, who are around you, and they reflect who you are as well. You are also very sensitive at this time. 
And you could also be connecting with the Christ consciousness energy to Jesus himself as well. Um, nothing shall be impossible unto you is another card underneath the deck. So nothing shall be impossible unto you. So whatever you're wanting to create at this time, nothing is impossible. And um, there's also this song that I'm hearing in my mind, in my ear, is um, that Iggy Azalea song, and it's uh, Impossible is Nothing. We did also have the ma magician card that came up from the bottom of the deck, which is telling me that you have the Midas touch, and you're also being very, you're also very magical. Um, this card is also signifying, and this card here is signifying that you can create and manifest whatever you want to create because you have unlimited ideas and you can create whatever it is that you want to create this weekend and moving forward. So, you know, tap into your sensitivity, be flexible, be malleable, flirt around as well and engage and be your truest, lighthearted self. Blessings unto you, part one, and we're going to go into part two now. Okay, part two, we have savings as your card. So savings is your card, part two this weekend. So you could be needing to save your energy, save your um, your energy this weekend. You could also be needing to save some money. As you consistent, consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favour as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose, okay? So that's your message, poll one, sorry, poll two. Poll two, we have unlimited ideas. This came in in poll one's actually card. So your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas, guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is to take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition, okay? So that's another message for you. Before we continue with the um, uh, Angels of Abundance cards, I want to have a look at the this quick and easy tarot deck. Okay, so pile two. Let's have a look at pile two. Messages for pile two for this weekend. Savings and limited ideas. You could be a Libra as well, as and or Sagittarius. I'm picking up on that. You could be a very balanced person. You're able to give and take equally. Okay. Um, part two. Pole two, what's happening for pole two this weekend, please? For we have death. Interesting. Major Arcana here. And like, did you hear the ding? The chime outside just did a big ding. Um, so we have signifies either the metaphorical, personal rebirth, followed by great change in your life, or the literal death of someone you know. Renewal, personal growth through honest self-examination. End of an era. End of an era, put the past behind you, fear of the unknown, of change, and of, be, and of being out of control. Focus on the essentials of life and simplify. Okay, so you could also be needing to completely simplify your life. So just get rid of junk, get rid of as many things as you need to get rid of. Scorpionic energy to um, a major change, very plutonic, uh, could be quite a scary change as well. But it's inevitable and needs to happen. So you're being encouraged to save money at this time as you're going through a major change. And during and on the other side of this major change, there will be unlimited possibilities and ideas for you. We have the Four of Soul, Swords. During this major change, there is a need to rest. A personal battle ends. So a personal battle ends. Um, truce will break in the fighting action, anxious feelings um, diminish. You let your guard down. Peace and quiet follow stress. You are alone with your thoughts, stockpile resources and mentally prepare for the next battle. This is just one battle in a long war. So you need to rest at this time. You could be going through um, 
some very challenging times at this time. Okay, so part two, let's see what else. I mean, these are messages for the weekend, but it could be just, just generally speaking. Hopefully you can see these cards. We have the fall, exactly. We have um, a complete ending, Ten of Swords, and a completely new beginning. So we have the fall here. So we have two major arcanas, the death, which is number 13, il tredici in Italian. Uh, we don't talk about, we don't say death, we say il tredici <laughs> with the tarot in Italian. And we have the fall card. Aries are energy here. You could have strong Aries and Scorpio in your chart. does not have to be, but... You are in unpredictable, you are unpredictable, open, spontaneous, adventurous, a free spirit and a dreamer. You are free of responsibility by choice and do not like restrictions. You have the soul of an entrepreneur, signifies the start of a new phase in your life, exactly. Trust in your own ideas and plans, no matter what others may say. So it's important to, for you to have integrity in your word, integrity in your commitment to your plans as well and for not and to not allow others to um come in and tell you what to do so i'm stumbling under my i'm stumbling over my words it's mercury retrograde and this is what happens at least with me <laughs> um we have the ten of swords here bottoming out uh trouble is on the way thinking like a victim or martyr will keep your life in a downward spiral plans and projects are in jeopardy your home life may be disrupted any area of your life is open to conflict, no matter how powerful and safe you are in you are, trouble will find you. So it's important for you to um stay away and save your energy from from dramatic and drama, particularly people who are very dramatic and 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 um you know just worry ridden is what I just hear. We have the page of wands here, may signify a male under 30 who is self-confident, charming and generous, a nature lover, enthusiastic, active and involved, very emotional, courageous, has strong convictions, encourages and inspires others to be their best, outgoing and generous, uh, gregarious personality. And then we have the world. I actually have a feeling in the abstract medicine community of who this could be, um, who I'm reading for. But um, I know that this person is a Libra and I know this person is currently going through a major change in their life and they're going to be relocating. So if you're if you're dealing with a similar situation like that, um, it's scary, isn't it? It's a scary time. And um, but you'll enter a period of great positivity and happiness and harmony. Um, everything will fall into place right now. It may not look like it. Right now, it may look like everything's kind of up in the air and you're starting something new. You're excited about it, but you're also scared and you're kind of spiraling a bit. You're kind of, prob you know, um, creating problems for yourself that doesn't exist. Um, but on the other, oh, the, oh gosh, Mercury retrograde, on the other end of that fear, on the other side of fear is love. On the other side of fear is release. On the other side of fear is joy. On the other side of fear is freedom. Uh, we have travel, relocation here, vacation with the world card. With these three cards here, the death, the fall and the world, this is a big, major life change that you're going through. This weekend, it's telling, for, for me, it's telling me to tell you that you need to save your energies because you need that energy that you're saving this weekend for these major changes, for travel, for thinking uh, on your feet, for... Um, collecting all of these new informations and new messages and new places that you're going to be seeing. It takes a lot of energy um, mentally and cerebrally to collect all of this information because everything is going to be new and you're going to be quite hyper, you know, hyperactive. You're going to be um, quite sensitive as well with all of this new information that you're going to be collecting um, and screenshotting in your mind as well as in your muscles. So your muscles are going to be taking in a lot of energy. You're going to be exerting a lot of energy with this new phase in your life. So it's important for you to save your energy this weekend in particular. Uh, on the other side of uh, all of these changes that are happening for you, and, and Spirit is telling you to reduce and declutter and reduce everything to 
a monk's standard is what I just heard. A monk's standard. So a monk's standard. A monk being someone who has very limited and very little um, possessions. You're going to be returning to yourself again. You're going to be feeling happier with yourself again. Whatever you give will be returned to you many times over. So if someone has also been keeping your money away from you, you're going to be receiving that many times over. You'll be feeling fulfilled as well and more fortunate. And you'll also be helping the less fortunate too. Okay, so um, yes, and the Six of Swords is saying problems, unfavorable judgment in a lawsuit, unwanted marriage proposals, overwhelmed by crisis. You feel unable to cope with day-to-day -day problems. Dealing with the aftermath of problems drains your energy. The future will be better than the present. But it's time for you to move forward and move away. Things will eventually work out. Travel or journey, which is what we're seeing here in the world, uh, eventually will transpire and possibly you'll be travelling over water. There's also the energy, Six of Swords is telling me, talking to me about the internet as well. So the internet um, for me is also moving away from things that are toxic online. Okay, let's have a look at the um, Angels of Abundance cards. I'm not seeing love really here. I, I know that's annoying for some of you, but to hear that I, I do see that there's going to be a big change and I see that it's going, to, it's going to be very successful and unlimited. So we have successful funding. Uh, your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gives you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So if you are an artist as well, it might be a good idea to put yourself out there, put your work out there and find ways how to, maybe if it's Instagram, for example, create a shop online so that you can directly sell to your clients or customers. Um, maybe this is through a newsletter. Maybe this is through your website. Um, I do see that it's important for you to continue having an entrepreneurial spirit, but in, in particular to use your online presence in order to gain income. Um, and you're going to be successful with it. Let's see what else there is for Paul to you, please. Abundance mindset. So there's a there's a clear message here that's saying that whatever you're leaving behind, you're not losing. Whatever you're giving up, um, it's an illusion because you're creating space for abundance to come in. Abundance comes in many different ways through family, through friendships, through financial support, through a lovely home, through sweet pets that come and pass your path as well. Um, but you need to have an abundant mindset. This is not the time to say that you're losing things and being in a sense of lack. OK, so it's a, it's a need for balance here. Anyway, abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then, when, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. So experience abundance right here, right now. The bottom of the deck, we have employment change. So, you know, when you relocate, when you move to another country, another town, another village, another you know, another home even, um, your employment could also change because especially if you are an entrepreneur, you're attracting different clientele, different people. But I also do see a worldwide web situation. So the website, the online presence, but also you're going to have a lot of different types of customers as well um, from all over the world. Employment change. Your career path is leading you to a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. So again, these messages are being repeated here. You're welcoming the new, you're closing behind a chapter, you're closing it down, you're shutting it down, you're shutting down people as well who are negative, have a negative mindset, have a lack 
mentality as well. And you are going to be um, having an employment change. Um, you're also being highly divinely guided by your spirit team to go ahead and do the thing that you've been dreaming to do because you only live once. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Wh which cards are we using? Okay. No, we're using. Let's have a look at the romance angels. Why not? We use romance angels for card one, so why not? Yeah. And I had this feeling, actually. I had this feeling that some of you could be releasing an ex. So we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so pull two. Release your ex. This could have been a Scorpio or very plutonic ending, you know, a necessary ending with a person. So you release your ex here. Um, let's see if I can put this here. It's only funny to put the light on. It's fine. Release your ex. Unrequited love. Love. So the reason why you broke up with that person or that last person broke up with you is because there could have been a betrayal and the love was unrequited. It was not. It was. It was conditional. It was not unconditional. Okay. Um, and that had played a major factor in your self esteem. Um, and so now you are being encouraged by spirit, by your friends, by the people that are around you, to have an abundance mindset, okay? That you are worthy. Okay, let's see what else we pull to, please, spirit. I don't know if I need to put the light on. Wait, let me let me just get hang on one sec. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Just say hi to the dog. Okay, so <laughs> part two. Let's see what else there is for you. It is safe for you to love. So part two, it is safe for you to love. Okay. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I kind of feel like I want to read on this a little bit. So let's have a look at the Romance Angels Oracle cards. It is safe for you to love. What is this about? Um, I think I need to change the lighting one second. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a light. There you go. I found it, Bosky. Okay, so. <laughs> talking to the dog okay so release wait it is safe for you to love how's your mercury retrograde going as well <laughs> uh, yeah be careful that an ex doesn't return you know how it is right mercury retrograde release your ex you drew this card because your love life will improve once you emotionally and energetically release your ex lover the benefits of doing so include increased happiness, feelings of freedom, and the ability to attract a new lover who would otherwise sense the presence of your ex in your aura. The moment you make the decision to let go of the past, it is done. Sometimes this is akin to peeling layers from the onion, so continue releasing your ex whenever old familiar feelings arise, or you find yourself attracting people reminiscent of him or her, or they, then. As the painting on this card depicts, you may want to ceremonially burn a letter to release the old relationship energy and symbolically let go of old feelings, or you can call upon the romance angels to clear lingering attachments to your ex. Let's have a look at unrequited love. The Romance Angels compassionately bring you this card as an answer to your relationship question. 
This person, or the person you're inquiring about, has many qualities that you find attractive. However, there's not enough mutual attraction to create the passion you're seeking. This relationship is more like a cat and mouse chase, with one partner continually retreating and disappearing. Neither person enjoys the imbalance, and lack of chemistry is the reason. You may also share genuine love with each other within itself, which in itself can be a foundation for a long-term relationship. This card comes to you simply to help you understand the missing component which you both can sense. Every relationship is a synergy of blending energies. You can't completely control the attraction factor, but you can override and steer it. Sometimes painful childhood experiences can draw you to unhealthy relationships, as you can recreate the original situation in an attempt to heal it. You can ask the angels to guidance to help you elevate your spiritual frequencies so that you attract a partner of a similar nature. You deserve to be in a relationship of mutual experience or appreciation and attraction. So it's worth your time and effort to manifest one with these qualities. Okay. I also sense the fact that you might have a very strong um, learning experience. So you might have Scorpio in, what is it, the eighth house? It's the one about the, the chart segment in the zodiac chart which is about um family um and possibly even past lives as well or yeah so you might have a very strong scorpio aspect too um and lastly but not least um it is time for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all this card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences. Um, however, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to others, uh, other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner, in your life and they'll do so. Provide that, you'll li provide that you listen to and follow their guidance. And then the bottom of the deck we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. And I would say it's you committing to yourself first and foremost. But I also do see that you're going to be, when you move away from a specific place, location, a physical place, location, energetically you change, you, you shift. Um, and, you know, that elevates you. You become lighter. You become more excited about life again, particularly when you're starting something new and you're moving to a new place. It can be scary at the very beginning, but once you commit to doing it, your energy changes, you know. And right now you're being practical with your money, you're saving for the future, for your future, but also make sure that you are continuing to release past pains and resentment and exes as well who are unrequited and even people that were toxic possibly that had to end, these relationships had to end and stay in your abundant energy, stay in an abundant mindset. Let's get the Archangel Gabriel cards for your life purpose, please, for it. Pull two. Messages for pull two, please, for it. Thank you. I'm hoping you can see these cards. Otherwise, just uh, listen to my voice. Recognition. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honours. So that's wonderful. So within your life purpose, you are receiving rec ooh, recognition. Let me just put this here. You're receiving recognition at this time. Okay. Um, you could also be receiving recognition online, you know, on social media. And this is the recognition that is helping you to receive gains, financial gains, successful funding. Happy news. We like that, don't we? Happy news. We have happy news for you, Paul, too. 
um, your prayer is answered in a creative way. I do feel like I'm being tapped into a creative, an artist, but your, ha your prayers are being answered in a creative way. So say, for example, you could be receiving a, a message or news from someone abroad who wants to buy your artwork, for example, or wants to invest in your artwork, becomes a new collector, for example, something like that. Pole two, let's see what else is here for you, pole two. Happy news. Pole two for this weekend. You could be receiving that message this weekend. Um, time management. Place your priorities at the top of your to-do list. And don't allow distractions to deter your focus. Sometimes we can be in an, in an analysis paralysis mindset as well. We have so many things to do and we don't write a list and it becomes too overwhelming. So just write a list and manage your time appropriately. Okay, and this card wants to come out as well. Writer's group. Beautiful. We have a writer's group. You could also want to write or journal. Create or join a writer's group to gain inspiration, friendship and support. You could be meeting people abroad um, through like a book club as well um, uh, or some sort of support group that involves writing. This could also be like a, a therapy session or something like that, a therapy group. I'm going to get the booklet for this and read about this writer's group for you. You're guided to join or start a writer's group or a group focused upon your particular art form. So you could, you, if you're an artist, you may want to do like an art class or art group or something like that. And you might want to do that abroad, for example. Um, when you join a group of like-minded people, the energy of creativity is magnified. Groups can also give you the incentive to complete projects and meet deadlines because of promises you've made to yourself and the members. So it's basically about accountability, you know, so that's quite a great, it's a great responsibility to have is to hold accountability for others, specifically when you're teaching or you're creating a group um, where it's helping others to feel motivated as well. And it gives you responsibility and also maybe the very thing that may you that you get successful funding from. Oh my goodness, Mercury Retrograde. Um, studies show that collaborations lead to enhanced creativity because of the contributions of brainstorming with others. You may also want to cross-pollinate, I call it cross-pollinate, where you collaborate with other people in your line of work. Say, for example, you're an artist, you may want to create the artwork for a publishing, like a book, for a writer, for example. Um, or you might want to collaborate with other creatives, other artists as well. You may also, and I actually say it's highly encouraged to work with people who are also highly recognised and also have this worldwide attention too, because that elevates you, like, a like, like attracts like. So it's also very good co-branding as well. Look for existing groups in your local newspaper or on a website such as meetup.com and if no, if no one exists in your area, volunteer to start one. There's also a message here maybe to be part of an exclusive club as well, okay, worldwide. There are also online support groups for writers and artists that you can find through your internet search engine. All right, so that's a side message. Uh, let's get a message from Jesus Christ or Christ the Christ. So messages for part two, please. See the number 2753 on the clock now. And the message for Paul 2 is pray always. Pray always. And it's Luke 2136. Luke 2136. So you may be encouraged to read Luke 2136 in the New Testament. And through that, you may be able to get some more insight and information. Um, prayer can also take part in um, walking, going for a walk in nature as well, going for a hike, being alone for a time. Praying can also just be about you being with spirit, being with God. 
and asking for guidance. Okay, guidance about how, you know, please help me release my burdens and worries and concerns about relocating and traveling and moving abroad and starting a whole new life change, where my employment will be changing, where people around me, the collectors and clients and friendships will be changing as well. You know, let's get one more at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. My father gives you the true bread from heaven. Yeah, John 6 and 32. Okay, so the true bread from heaven is manna. Manna from heaven. Okay, so when you... When you are in an abundance mindset, nothing is lacking. When you are in an abundant mindset, nothing is lacking. Um, you see and feel and know that your true abundance is through the universal consciousness, okay? Your true worth, your true savings, your saviour, you know, whoever that may be, whether it's Jesus or uh, a Christ consciousness embodiment, um, is, is the very entity that's going to help you to lead the way and to create abundance for you and some of us find financial abundance and stability um kind of like a codependent thing and we see that in false things and false prophets even false people you know we find stability and success or recognition with false people and i think what these cards are telling me to tell you is to release these false support systems and release these possibly even false prophets that you might be find, finding online and false leaders that you might be finding online and to find that leadership within you and to be able to unlock that limited um, abundance within you of your own leadership and that that own leadership is within you which is through and from God it's basically that what is what it's telling me these two cards is telling me that you need to trust your divine life purpose because the gifts that you have for the world are for the world but it's from you and from spirit to share to and onto the world and that in a sense is bread from heaven isn't it so that's beautiful and you know what you do can also be an act of prayer your creative endeavors can also be an act of prayer and that prayer can also help and save others we have savings here save others which is beautiful it's a form of healing Okay, um, I kind of also want to read the Happy News card. Um, let's have a look at the Happy News card from Archangel Gabriel. And then we'll close out this reading. So Happy News, let's have a look. This is an announcement of forthcoming news that you'll be very happy about. All of the good work you've been, you've been doing is culminating in success. The results may differ from your expectations, but you will be pleased with them nonetheless. For that reason, stay open-minded as to know your rewards comes to you, as to how your rewards come to you. If you're only looking for one type of success, you may not notice it arriving in a different form. As to the question of when this happy news is coming, Archangel Gabriel is saying that it is imminent arising within the next few days or weeks, less than two months. In the meantime, continue with your current health and productive activities. Your rewards are unfolding in exactly the right way. And for anyone who's applying for a visa at this time or applying for, you know, some sort of recognition from a government source or needs a recognition letter um, from one employment to change to the next employment, you will be getting it. But it's important to have faith in the divine plan. And you just heard the dog there, which is a confirmation of what I'm saying. So that's all for now, poll two. And we're going to move to poll three. If this does not resonate with you, then go to poll one and poll three. And I'll check you the next one. We also have 33 on the timer, which is the Ascended Masters energy. Mwah. Bye for now. Okay, poll three. So we have your card here which is attracting not chasing attracting not chasing so anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy 
Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. Okay, um, let's have a look at this card. This card looks like Venice to me. It could also be like London or it could be sort of a river stream um, where you might want to go on a boat and play some music with some friends. <laughs> I don't know, but have a look at this card. It's quite sweet, very endearing. Okay, so attracting, not chasing. So hopefully you'll be able to see all the cards that are here. Once I get it all sorted out. There's a little bit of a light glare, but hopefully that'll be okay for you. Attracting, not chasing. Pole two, sorry, pole three. The hanged man, very strong Pisces energy here. Okay, I haven't even shuffled actually, let me shuffle this. But that wants to come out. So we have this card of contradiction, confusing time ahead. Do the opposite of what your instincts tell you to do. Peace of mind comes from making the decision. Put aside any selfish interests. It may be necessary to sacrifice in order to achieve success. Instead of trying to control situation and people, leave them alone. Yeah, exactly. So instead of trying to control a situation or people, leave them alone. Attract. Do not chase. Those of you who are desperate to be seen by a particular person, attract. Do not chase. Leave them alone. If they don't see you for your own worth, then they're not worth you being around. Pile three. Messages for pile three for the weekend, please. Thank you. Or whenever they're tuning into this video. Okay, boss girl. Okay, pile three. Purple could be your colour at this time. I do apologise about, about the glare, but sort of need the light here. Okay, so Two of Pentacles. Great changes. Great changes are in store for you. An important message or document arrives, putting an end to a problem. Enjoy your work and learn from the challenges. An excellent time for new projects. Um, research them carefully and with attention to the details. Be patient and wait for all the elements to fall into place. Bravo, Bosque, bravo. <laughs> He's drinking his water. Um, be patient and wait for all the ele elements to fall into place. Pick up a project that has been put aside. Also a very good time to do that. Picking up a project that's been put aside during Mercury retrograde, isn't it? So also a good time to review things right now, okay? All right, so let me just... Seven of Pentacles indicates a major turning point in your finances. Take a complete financial inventory. Oops. Yeah. Money comes in from investment. Use this time to assess progress forward towards career goals and financial plans. If there is a little profit, radically change your direction or money issues. Choose low risk investments and plan carefully. The Emperor. I mean, that's quite an amazing car to have, uh, particularly with finances and work. Loving relationship between father and child. You are the master of your own emotions, leadership abilities, the card of authority, willpower and self-control. Projects or ideas will fall into place. And I've got the, the devil underneath here, by the way. OK, um, dreams will be realised, assume control of the situation. You'll be in a position of responsibility, protect and defend those in a weaker position. So we have three major arcanas here. We have the strength card too, which I'll read on. Pisces, Aries, Leo. This card of tolerance, um, character and compassion 
is about the ability to endure adversity. You can face any problem with inner strength. When challenged, maintain control of the situation by reacting calmly, which is also this card here. You know, uh, refraining from exerting your emotions in a, neg in a negative way, as in anger. You're mastering your emotions. You're doing things great things gracefully, particularly for those of you who are in your masculine at this time. This could also be a masculine coming towards you as they are attracted to you because you are not chasing them. This could also be the response, par three to par one. So you could be that masculine and par one could be that feminine. Oh, just as a side note, by the way. Um, let's see what else there is. Page of Swords, someone's keeping an eye on you, Pile 3. I have to say it because this is what I'm seeing. Um, this person could be a male under 30, very intelligent, confident and responsible. Intimidates others and challenges them to keep up. Um, this could also be yourself. Particularly for those of you who are a designer, an artist, a builder, works in manufacturing, or those who work with their hands. Um, you could also be in charge of a business where you're bossing people about, basically. <laughs> and underneath the deck, as I said, we have the devil card. So it denotes a greedy, materialistic, selfish person. Disregard for others. Beware of someone who tries to control you. You are caught in an unhealthy situation. The card of sexual perversity and dark secrets. Sexual addiction, overspending, substance abuse, compulsion, judge, judging people by their values and not judge people by their values and not their outside appearance. Okay, and underneath that we have the Knight of Swords. Um, okay. Um, you know, it has to be said that this could be someone that you're releasing. This could be someone from your past um, that you're releasing at this time. And this could be an ex, someone maybe he's toxic a little bit as well. Let me just rearrange these cards so you can hopefully see them. This could also be a very controlling father who you've been releasing. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see all of those cards, but otherwise it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, or you could have been releasing a very, a very um, toxic male in your life. You could have been dealing with a boss as well in your past, and the messages for this weekend is to um, is to just confirm that. This boss was also very greedy and materialistic. There could be a court, I just heard a court order. There could be a court order as well. Release resentment about money. This came in pile one, I believe. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentment about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world and this shift will help you attract support and, and support and golden opportunities. So I actually feel like there's um, something here where someone was holding your money for some time, or and you've been releasing or learning how to release resentment about that. This person could have been a boss, a masculine energy, a, um, a father to your children. It is safe for you to receive. Beautiful card. It's safe for you to receive. Okay. We also have winter energies here. These two cards are about winter. So you may have been through the winter of your life, or at least it felt like it. So you may have gone through a really difficult time of isolation and just very a very cold time. You may have gone through a chill, okay? So, you know, when there's a chill, everything is barren or at least seem, seems to be dead. But actually, within that, within that barren, cold, chill state, there's also magic. There's also magic and enchantment, I'm hearing. The more you allow yourself to receive, 
the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Oh wait, this card flipped. Deservingness, okay, so let's have that. So this came in part one, deservingness, okay. You're recognising that you are deserving. Employment change, okay, so this came out in part two. So we have employment change and we have windfall abundance. As a timing, this wind, windfall of abundance could be happening during the Christmas time because you have Santa Claus here or St. Nicholas. Employment change, your career path is leading you to a higher direction, in a higher direction, with positive changes to support your dreams. Your dreams could also be very enchanting at this time and are actually guiding tools, I'm hearing, for what's to come. Um, this could also be, you could be receiving messages about about this person who was greedy and maybe even sabotaging you from your great successes and even your financial gains. And this is someone that you were previously working with. Um, they also, they or your people, the employees um, around you, see that you work very hard um, and you attract a lot of abundance to you because you have that nature to attract a lot of abundance. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. I ho I'm hoping the glare isn't annoying you, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's the best I can do at this time. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Um, trust that these changes with regard to employment change uh, will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receive and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work and it's important for you to do the work at this time pull through it is not enough to dream or pray you've also got to take the positive action steps that you're being divinely guided to take consistently working your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden so whatever you're dealing with at this time um, you're going to be working very hard. The devil card, unfortunately for me, is the card of Capricorn and the card of overworking and hard work as well. Also Saturnian energy too, which is basically following the rules and just doing it. So doing the work is um, committing to that work. But don't worry, because we have Archangel Michael here, and Archangel Michael is a slayer of dragons, you know, cast the devil um, into hell. So... Obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles. And blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centred in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. You see? To see how that works. And God is your source. Always make sure that God is your source and no other thing is your source. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God and your faith opens a doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. Okay, um, let's have a look at the Archangel Gabriel cards. Let's have a look. Part three, what is this? Attracting, not chasing and working, doing the work where there is abundance coming. There will be abundance coming, if I haven't said this already, um, when you have an employment change, pile three. When your boss changes, that can be an employment change within itself. Um, you may need to work on multiple projects, okay? Um, there's an important messaging arriving, uh, putting the end of a problem. And you're needing to commit as well, uh, invest as well. For those of you who are into investment, um, or even there could be an investor coming towards you. Say, for example, you're an artist like myself. You could have a collector who may want to invest in your work with the Seven of Pentacles as they see art as an asset, asset investment. Okay. Okay. Right. So, um, okay, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. So we have a writer's group here, which came out in part two, writer's group. 
So the writers group is not just for writers, but it's about creating or joining an artistic creative group to gain inspiration, friendship and support. And for me, it's the the card about cross-pollination and working with other people who are like-minded as well, or in the same field as work too, field of work or industry as you. Um, This usually helps and allows for um, leadership to take place, especially if you're creating this artistic group. Okay, so it's important for you to meet other people and new people. We have media, we have time management, we have have confidence in your creations, we have a agent or manager, and we have ask for what you want. Okay, so we had the chime that just chimed there outside. Agent or manager came out that chimed chimed again. So we have media, you can reach more people by working with video audio, print, and online media. So say, for example, on social media, on Instagram, for example, they're really pushing the um, the reels, aren't they? They're pushing reels a lot. They're asking you to do more videos, video content. Maybe it's about you talking about your book or writing or reading aloud your book or writings or words. Um, say, for example, it's me. I also, I also have a podcast. It's about sharing that podcast online Um, But basically, using media, social media, is going to be very significant to um, bring in this windfall of abundance. And you're needing to commit to that quite religiously, I would say. Um, Time management. With the Two of Pentacles, there's a need for time management here, isn't there? So place your priorities at the top of your to-do list and don't allow distractions to deter your focus. So needing to um, maybe be in a group that holds you accountable as well could be a good idea. Have confidence in your creations, Pole 3. Trust in your the power of your God, of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. What is going on outside? Birds are going crazy. Um, there could also be a bit of a few distractions around you at this time as you're trying to work on your priorities. Um, I also see that there's a bit of chatter and a bit of gossip as well around you, Path 3, which is this energy. The devil card is gossip, low vibrational. So don't participate in gossip because it lowers your, I just heard, lowers your immune system. Archangel Michael just said that to me. Lowers your immune system. Um, yeah. Anyway, have confidence in your creations. There's an important agent or a manager, which is the boss energy here that's coming through. This person is very loving as well. Um, This boss could be changing from a toxic boss to another boss, which is your employment change. A very strong masculine energy. They themselves could be a father. Your work expands as it reaches as it it reaches as you partner with a professional who can help you. Ask for what you want. Clear communication with yourself with, and with God and with others helps you avoid misunderstandings. Remember, we are a Mercury retrograde and misunderstandings do take place during retrograde season. Um, so this will speed up, this clarity will speed up the process of answered prayers. Okay, bottom of the deck we have, pay attention to your dreams. And I did say that. So your dreams are telling you about a boss that was toxic, okay? Or someone in your life that was very toxic, who was in a position of power, leadership, or even parental um, uh, leadership. You are receiving divine guidance with while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious right, sorry, unconscious mind, where they appear in order to help you. This is also a time for you to write about your dreams as well. Okay, let me have a read on this agent or manager. Part three. It's time to get serious about your messenger career. So you are messengers, part three. It's time to get serious about your messenger career. And for that, you need some help from professionals. Apparently, you've been shy about revealing your work publicly. An agent or manager can bypass this fear for you because he or she will showcase your creative gifts 
to the world. And, you know, this showcasing could be that they may have a PR department. They may be able to promote your work. Marketing. Okay. Um, this person will also give you helpful advice to polish your work so that it's even more successful. Give worries about possible criticism or failure over to God and you'll be relieved of any perfectionism. Keeping your creative works hidden from the world. Remember that you're not trying to please everyone, just those who resonate with your message. It's also the energy of not casting pearls onto pigs because pigs will just see pearls as fodder to eat and munch on. They won't, um, they won't, they won't see the value of it. So it's important to share your message nonetheless. Share your message like a fishnet um, and just see who bites. Share that message online and just see who bites. And those that bite um, will, will understand, will understand the pearls of your wisdom. Okay, and your messenger, light worker energy. Um, <laughs> the bird. The only way others will receive the blessings from your work is if you make it available to them. An agent or a manager pays for himself or herself because it's better to pay a percentage of some sales than no percentage of no sales. You can find names of agents or managers through an internet search by reading the acknowledgement section of your favourite books, by asking your mentors for referrals, or through your writer's group or art teacher. Now, we do have a writer's group here. So maybe you're attracting a mentor. Maybe you are attracting a manager through this writer's group or creative group or club or networking group that you're part of. So pay attention because I feel like you already have that all here within you uh, and around you at this time. You already have a good system in place, um, but it's, it's a need. There's a need to acknowledge that at this time. That, you know what you have around you within you. Let's have a look at the Romance Angels cards, and it's always a great sign when you have obstacles and blocks that are lifted. Let's have a read of that. Actually, Archangel Michael is telling me to read that. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles. And blocks are being lifted away. So... You may also want to read a book and at the back of your book you may um, be inspired to connect with, you know, that writer... Congratulations, all your personal work has disentangled you from the snares of fear-based blocks. So this is what Archangel Michael says, all systems are go and you are on your way. The key now is for you to stay centred in positive energy. Any doubt or worries must be immediately faced and dealt with, such as giving them to God for healing. Do not allow your mind to wander to worst case, case scenarios, lest your lest you manifest those fears into reality. Remember that God gave you the spiritual power of creation, so use it to craft your masterpiece that will leave a helpful and inspiring legacy. Beautiful message. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Romance card. Let's see who this masculine in your life is. Engagement. Okay, so we have engagement. Part three. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And to be honest, this card has come up in all three piles i feel like you're all elevating we as a collective abstract medicine collective are all elevating to a higher level of love release your ex yes with the devil here you've kicked the devil out this weekend possibly or you have released your ex recently you are also possibly in separation from someone who is highly toxic Let's see what else there is for part three you're dealing on healing family issues and family wounds at this time, Paul three. Let's see what else there is. Oops, it's quite a few. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
Okay, so very soon you'll be attracting a highly inspired and highly divine masculine in your life because it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So this is what's happening for you, pile three. But I would say it's important for you also to call in your soulmate and to focus on your commitments at this time. You could also be meeting someone at work or this person could be part of your peer group, could even be your boss. I have to say, just to be honest with you, I have to say, I am seeing that as a possibility too. Now let's look at the loving messages from Jesus Christ. Or Jesus, the Christ consciousness. Pile three. It's also important when you pray, um, even when you're contacting and connecting with your archangels, that you know that they are of light, you know that they are of truth, and sometimes the devil comes in to interfere even through prayer and casts a shadow and a reflective light of something that is actually not genuine. So the devil can also pretend to be Jesus. The devil can also pretend to be Archangel Michael or your ancestors or, you know. So it's important to recognise the truth when it presents itself, spiritually through your dreams, but also in the physical as well. Recognise the, recognize the truth when it presents itself. Okay. Hold through, please. Thank you. Recognise the truth when it presents itself in your dreams because your dreams are telling you the truth of all things I'm hearing. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Okay? Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. We have John 16, 24. 16 and 24 could be significant uh, for you as well. Um, 16, uh, from if I'm not mistaken is the uh, tower. Yes, the tower card. And after the tower comes healing with a star card. Um, the 16th of a month could be very significant. could be a birthday as well. This card wants to come out, so I'm going to pull this card out. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And you are a leader. And you are a messenger of light and truth. And you are a good shepherd. And you would never, you know, bring your flock into a wolf's snare, would you? So it's important to be that sheep because the sheep is also the shepherd. You understand people. You have compassion for others. Um, you know, you have compassion for others because you yourselves have also been through the mill. Um and you are a good shepherd. The shepherd understands his sheep or her sheep. John 10, 11. So we have an ending here and a major new beginning happening in your life. Pile three. As you look out towards the future, I see that you will be receiving what you have sown or what you are sowing here with the seven of pentacles. You may have a lot of responsibilities. You may have a lot of people that follow you, you know, as fans as well. But it's important to stay, to stay humble, you know. Um, and, and I just had to not breach your contract. So I don't know what that means to you. But to not breach your contract, maybe that contract is your life purpose. To continue to, 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 to be in your life purpose uh, and to do the work. Do the work. To not be lazy, you know, with the devil card here. To do the work that you are asked to do here. And to follow people wisely into truth, love and light as well. To have the inner strength as well not to be tempted by the devil. Sometimes people can come in and tempt you and say, look, I'm going to offer you this major record label deal and it's going to make you famous and you're going to have all of these lavishes and blah, blah, blah. But... Um, it's recognising the truth when it presents itself, isn't it? And underneath that we have pray always. So if you're ever uncertain, pray always. Attract, do not chase. Attract from your inner inner um, ember, I'm hearing. And that inner ember casts a great light through you 
out of you, around you as well. Attract, do not chase. Beautiful messages. I do hope these messages for the weekend have helped you, part three. If this message does not resonate with you, you can find a message for part one or in part two for you. Otherwise, I'll catch you in another reading and you can find me on Instagram with daily pick uh, a cards, or rather pull the cards. Um, and that's it for you. Love and light. Bye for now.